Like, I don't know. Does anyone actually like Flutter in the chat, straight up? Does anyone actually like Flutter? From what we've seen thus far... This is actually my most special room. Huh? Really? Uh-huh. It's a magic room. You like Flutter? Okay. It'll turn into anything you desire. All you have to do is ask. I see. That's amazing. <laughs> Let me show you. What color do you like best? I really like red. But I don't really like red. Never mind that. Let's choose between pink and blue. Which do you like best? I like blue. <laughs> but I like pink better, so we're going with pink. Okay. Alright, now watch and learn. <laughs> Good day! What do you see? What would you like to see today, princess? I would like to see a pink room. Very well, you may step inside. Let's go! Alright. Sure. These are my three special mirrors. Huh? Special? Uh-huh. There's a mirror of prayer, then there's a mirror of truth, and then the mirror of judgment. What do they do? Just come with me and I'll show you. Uh, can I look at these dresses? I guess not. This is the mirror of judgment. It judges whoever stands in front of it. That sounds scary. It's not scary, it's fun. Watch, I'll do it first since you're such a scaredy cat. Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. I command you to tell me who is the fairest of them all. Certainly not you, princess. <laughs> that mirror's about to get broken. <laughs> Fucking Lord Farquaad up in here and be like, you were saying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <coughs> what? How am I not the fairest of them all? You told me I was just yesterday. Yeah. Are you trying to pick a fight with me? We'll see about that. Come on, it's your turn to be judged. <laughs> oh, no, I'm fine, Fleta. Yeah. This is an order. Go get judged by the mirror right this instant. Mirror, I would like to ask you who's the fairest of them all. There is only one who can hold that title, miss, and that person is you. In front of Fleta! I know, Egliet! Me, but I... That's enough! What it dessert. Um, <laughs> let's just go on to the next one. All right. This is the mirror of truth. It will answer all of your questions with nothing but the truth. <laughs> ah, I see. I go first. Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Tell me who's the pinkest of them all. That is you, princess. <laughs> ah, I knew it. It could have only been you, Flutter. Right? Now you go. It's your turn! What should I ask? I don't know. It's your turn, not mine. Hmm. Who am I? Why won't Egliet talk to me? Why can't I remember my own name? What is my name? I feel like I want to ask this one. But I could also ask, why can't I remember my name? Because eventually we are going to learn our name. I have a feeling we are going to learn our name over time. So, there's no point in asking now. But I'm wondering, like... I'm thinking, why can't I remember my own name? It's not a matter of remembering your name. It's a matter of finding it. What does that mean? It must mean your name is so ugly, no one will even pronounce it! That's fucking rude. What? Can't you even take a joke? Come on, let's go to the next mirror. That's not a joke. This is the mirror of prayer. It can make any wish come true. Really? Any wish? Uh-huh, just watch. Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Please make my mouth taste like candy forever. Very well, princess, your wish is my command. <laughs> it worked! Now I can 
always taste my favorite candy! Can I really ask for anything? Of course, my mirrors can do anything. And I want a pocket mirror. Another one? Huh? What? Why? What would you do with something like that? Why would you want... Wait, what would you want something like that for? You already have one! Your wish is my command. Imitation pocket mirror. <laughs> Thank you, mirror. I don't get it. Why did you wish for another pocket mirror? I got it for you, Fleta. Here, take it. Hmm? What? <laughs> you look like you really wanted one, so I got you this. Are you going to like it, or are you going to hate it? Why would I want something stupid like that? I knew it. Uh, just get rid of it or something, will you? I don't want you littering my home. But I... Let's go. Follow me. A tall golden frame mirror hangs off a devoid of reflections. May you ever lose yourself in the princess's madness, and I shall aid in your sadness. Thank you, but... I just wonder why she doesn't like me. It may take time, as the princess isn't very honest. Only you can put her to rest. What do you mean? Mirror? What does that mean? Tall golden frame mirror... What, what does that mean? You will aid me in my sadness after the princess's madness? What did that even mean? Mm. Took you long enough. To never make me wait like this again. Sorry. Tall, colorful stained glass windows stand graciously, casting an ethereal light over the hall. Do the other stained glass windows have this? Hmm. I'm just getting as, much, as many of the charms as I fucking can at this point. I think we're gonna kill Fleta. I think we're legitimately gonna kill Fleta. This is my big library. This is where I keep all my favorite tales. There's not a single boring book in this whole room. That's impressive, Fleta. I don't feel like reading right now. I'll give you ten minutes to check some books if you want to. Thank you, Vlada. Okay. Uh, what's up here? The Complete Biography of Queen Egliette by Princess Vlada. Okay. There was once a little missy who was well known for being quite prissy. All of her faithful butlers enjoyed serving her tea, obediently answering her every plea. Ruthless and powerful, the girl's last breaths were everything but colorful. Got what she deserved, embedded in aconite in her last dessert. Bestowed with such cruel demise, said the Missy, it is now the gods' duty to strip me of my disguise. Having disposed of their queen who had taken their voice, overwhelmed with freedom, did their servants rejoice. It's hard to believe Fleta would like this kind of story. Okay. Friendly Justice and Pretty Countesses by Sir Pumpkin the Third. To be a perfect princess by Princess Sleta. Okay. Fancy and elegant white porcelain vase decorated with various ribbons. Okay. How to dance the waltz by Mr. Rabbit. A boy's midnight journey by Henri? Is it Henry or Henri? D. Heliage. Uh, yeah, I'll read it. Fuck it. A certain boy was known to have a problematic condition, one that would only affect him during the night, one that even the best doctors could not explain. The thought, they thought to be the work of the devil by many, it was said that the boy would wake up during the night and speak to the ones who had perished. So he could speak to the dead, he's a medium. Henry? Okay, cool, thank you. Despite the various attempts to cure him of his curse, the boy kept on being disturbed by strange voices during the night. Everything from this page is... Everything from this page on is scratched out. Oh, look, we're into it, absolutely. There's something written on the back cover. No one around him will ever know about the secret of his. Such a privilege belongs only to me, my dear. This is the only thing written on the back. Oh, a thousand and one riddles from the curious minds of Lord Pumpkin Squash. Wait, where'd the book go? 
Look at how the boy disappeared. What? What? Huh? Uh. Are we done? But uh, I can't find a book I'm looking for. Do you have any idea where it might be? What book are you talking about? There's a book about a boy who could talk to the dead. What? There's no way I would ever have ever such a horrible. Mm. There's no way I would ever have such a horrible book in my library. But I found it just a while ago. Would you please stop telling lies, miss? It's not pleasant. But it's true, I'm not lying! <laughs> yes, you are! Are you finished yet? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Let's go upstairs. Okay. I'm gonna save again. That was... That's kind of weird. Why is that book so significant, though? It seemed like it was a very significant book because it had animation in the background. So I'm wondering what's the significance of that book. Alright. That was the library. <laughs> this is my favorite room in the whole house! I come here every night just to look at the stars and talk to Egliette! This room is beautiful, Flutter. Isn't it? Come on, let's sit down and look at the stars. <laughs> yes! Okay. Let's sit down and look at the stars. That's pretty. This sofa is so comfortable. I could fall asleep here. I sleep here all the time. Sometimes I forget to bring a blanket when I take naps, so Egliette gets one for me. Egliette really does like you. Of course, and I love her just as much as she loves me. Don't you, Egliette? See? I wish I had a friend like her. Oh, but you do! You have me and Egliette! Isn't that enough for you? <laughs> oh, no, that's not what I meant. Somehow I just... feel lonely. I feel like I've been alone for a long time now, and... I don't know why. Oh, I am sorry I didn't mean to bother you, Fleta. Hmm... Well, I can assure you, you're not alone. You've never been alone and you never have to be. Hold on. Actually, I have always been here for you and always will be. R what does that mean? Egliet and I have always been here for you and will always be. What does that mean? Someone smarter than me, just remind me curiously of Wonderland Syndrome? Because now my brain's going in a different direction. Because I'm not- I'm thinking maybe it's not Wonderland Syndrome. I think this is DID. I don't- don't correct me if I am right or wrong. Don't correct- this is just literally me, like, throwing shit at a wall and seeing my brain stick. Yeah, don't correct me if I'm wrong. Or right, whatever. Um, I just got diagnosed with diabetes, I'm really sorry. I- Welcome to the club. It's scary, 100%, but I promise you it's manageable. But thank you so much for the Australian 799. What is DID? Um, Dissociative Identity Disorder. Um... Some may recognize it as multiple personality disorder. That's the old phrase, and it's the old turn of phrase. Um, the new actual scientific phrase that is accepted by the community is disassociative identity disorder. Um, yeah, Wonderland, uh, Wonderland uh, relates to body image, not delusions. Yeah. I'm just... Because it's very clear that this girl went through some kind of fucking trauma. DID typically spawns, nine times out of ten, an altar spawns from trauma. Now, this altar could take on many personalities, many forms, maybe different, like, genders, ages, ranges, anything like that. I'm wondering if Fleta is an altar. That's why, like, any normal sane person would look at Fleta and be like, I don't want to associate with you. But the fact that... Our girl, Gloria, I'm gonna call her Gloria, because that's what we will be based on, based on the spelling of the name. Our girl here, 
is so already accepting of her. Maybe it's because she has no choice but to accept her. It could be that. It could be also be like hardcore imaginary friends. If we are thinking of trauma in that way, if it's not DID, then it could be like hardcore imaginary friend. Like we see that Fleta is with a stuffed animal. This could be a reflective of Gloria having a stuffed animal friend and being kind of like that. And just having a, a friend to kind of be with at that point. Because I don't know about like Gloria's family. I don't know about Gloria's family at all other than something traumatic. So that's all the information we got. So again, throwing shit at a wall. Don't don't tell me if I'm right or wrong. Yes, you're right. <laughs> thank you, Fleta. Don't forget to thank Igliette too. Oh, thank you, Igliette. <laughs> Good. The music is very pretty. All right. Actually, I've always wanted to ask you something. You have? Well, what is it? In which floor of my dollhouse would you like to live? What? What do you mean? Well, since you're going to live here with me from now on, we need to know where you'll be staying, right? <laughs> or maybe we can make a whole new floor just for you! What do you think, miss? Fleta... I don't know if I want to stay here. What then? Do you want to live on the second floor? That would be fine, too. No, I mean... I can't stay in your dollhouse with you. I have to go. Go where? I... I don't know exactly where, but I have to know who I am. <laughs> Find out who you are. Lada, I can't stay here with you. What do you mean you can't stay here with us? I'm not going to let you go anywhere. Lada, you need to back the fuck up. Lada, you've already found me. What else do you need? Are you really going to leave me all alone again? Again. Again, the word again. This has happened before. It's either a hardcore imaginary friend, or this is an altar. It's one of the two, and I don't know which one. It's, it's, it's bugging the shit out of me. What do you mean? Your place is here with me. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. Now that's settled, let's decide where you'll be staying. What do you think, Igliette? I don't need you telling me that! Oh look, miss, a shooting star! <laughs> Quick, let's make a wish! Oh no, I didn't have time to make all the wishes I wanted! What did you wish for, Mish? Oh, I... Secret. Huh? Aw, come on, don't be stingy! Just tell me! <laughs> but you're not supposed to tell. Mm. Fine. Don't tell me if you don't want to. I'm getting tired of being here. Let's go play! But, uh, I... You're not going anywhere, miss. I told you before. You're my friend. You belong to me and no one else. If you ever try to leave, you know what will become of you. Don't you? So, let's go play? Answer me! Yes. This is wildly fucking ridiculous! This is fucking ridiculous. This is a little fucking ridiculous. This is a little bit ridiculous. I'm gonna save. It's dead. I think I wanna try and finish whatever this girl has in store. If we have to kill her, 
We'll we'll end the stream after we kill her. If we gotta if we gotta if we 100% gotta like pop up. Absolutely no way. <laughs> They're the same age. That's fine. They're the same age. <laughs> Michaela, that's child fighting. It's a video game. Shut up. <laughs> I'm so terrible. I'm going. To, I'm going to hell. <laughs> I'm gonna be arguing St. Peter over this. <laughs> oh my god. What's this? Here we are! This is my playground where I keep all my toys! You have so many! Obviously, I'm a princess after all! Let's go play! Come on! Okay. Uh, trains? A miniature train set rests on the ground. The various carriages have been carefully polished. More not drumsticks beside a small red snare. A trunk filled with a wide variety of toys and dolls. And 10 million horses. Nope, they're teddy bears. Numerous teddy bears sit on top of a long shelf. Uh, nutcracker? Imposing nutcracker soldiers stand by the bottom of the stairs. Their eyeballs roll instantly inside their sockets. Eek! But, uh, he's looking at us. Oh, don't worry, they're just guarding my toys! I see. Okay... Dole? 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 Horsey? This is my rocking horse! Okay. Hmm... A wooden sculpted dollhouse frame is a big, ticking cuckoo clock. Okay. Um... An old, deteriorated gramophone rests on the corner. Okay. Um, what did you want to play with? A nightly veil, um, a nightly veil recovers the shadow, the covers the windows, allowing the moonlight to seep through. Uh, here? Oh, here. Here they are, aren't they cute? You have so many! Uh-huh. Let's play! Oh, but I don't know the rules. That's alright, Ugly Guy will explain you the rules. I can't understand the doll. What does it matter? She can just play it anyway! But I can't hear what Ugly it says. <gasps> uh, fine! I'll have to explain them to you myself since you're so dumb. All you have to do is catch the butterflies. The one with the most butterflies wins! I see! That sounds fun! I'll go with the cage from the right. You go with the other cage so we can start. Okay. So, we're just collecting butterflies? Okay. Are you ready? I'll go first! Okay. Okay. I got eight! Good job, Fleta! Good job? Is that all you have to say? How many can you catch anyway? You don't even stand a chance. Oh, watch me, honey. I don't even know why I'm still playing with you. Well, she doesn't need to know that, does she? Fleta! What do you want? Hurry up, it's your turn now! <sighs> Alright. My turn. Missing one, missing one, missing one. I got ten! You missed two! I won! Yeah, you literally caught eight. I caught ten. That's how math works. Oh, Jesus! You're a cheater! That's what you are! But I'm a princess. I shouldn't let something like this bring me down. <laughs> I'll just pretend like you won. I'll let this one slide just for you, miss. But I did... ...win. Sure you did. <laughs> if you want to prove to me you're not a lying cheater, then you have to win and hide and seek fair and square! Hey. Bring it on. Not like I'll ever win anyway. I'll go first. You stay here and count to ten while I go hide. Alright. 
<laughs> You'll never find me. Okay, so we got some diaries now. 12-4-1862 Dear Diary Today my friend Claire that worked in the kitchen disappeared and no one can, will tell me where she is. I wonder if she's still playing hide and seek since yesterday. That would be terrible. She must be hungry. Too bad a Is this... Is this Fleta's diary? I wonder if she's still playing hide and seek since yesterday. That would be terrible. She must be hungry. Too bad, because I, want, I wanted to invite her for a picnic tomorrow. 13 4 1862 So this is April 13th. Dear Diary, I wish I had a twin sister instead. That way we could play together every day! Today, it was really sunny, so I tried to play with Mother, but she spends too much time in her room and doesn't talk to us, me as much as she used to. I wonder if she's sad because Father is away. April 23rd, 1862 Dear Diary, I wish we didn't live away from town. We never have any girls to play with, and Brother spends too much time writing on his own. If this is DID, is this Gloria's family? So Gloria has a sis, has a brother? And a mom, who apparently is very neglectful, and dad, who's not there. Okay. He won't let me read what he writes either. Maybe he should. He would play with me if I were a boy. I hope Father brings me that very pretty doll he said he would buy on his trip. I think I will call her Claire, just like my friend. April 24th, 1862. Dear Diary, today my tutor fell ill during class. He had what Brother said was a heart attack. I wonder if he'll be alright because he wasn't moving very much after the doctor came to visit. I'm glad that class ended early so I got to play in the garden. It started raining so I had to stay inside. It was really boring, so I decided to go into Mother's room because she wasn't there anymore. Because she isn't there- she isn't in her room anymore? I don't like Mother. Okay, drawings? April 25th, 1862. Father bought me a very beautiful doll! Her name is Egliette, and we have been friends for a long time now. She likes the same tea and sweets as me. I will never let my brother touch her. I'm sure he'll break her on purpose. Egliet doesn't like boys either because they're brutes. It's so obvious father is a boy because he is going to war again. Again? I don't understand him. So dad's a soldier? Probably like a high-ranking officer. On duty all the time. Probably a sergeant or a corporal. So Someone who's always on call for the, for the army. April 28th, 1862. Being with Eglia is really fun. I never feel alone when I'm with her. She always tells me very pretty stories, too. My favorite story is about that time that Eglia had to choose between the best dancers in the kingdom. She said they were very good dancers and very elegant. The fox even had a red dress. Eglia said she would teach me how to dance tomorrow, too. I can't wait. I love Eglia. April 29th. Today was a really bad day. I hated it because it was raining and the story Eglia told me was very stupid. It was about some witches that went into a forest to pick up berries. That sounds so boring. I bet they taste like dirt. I bet they played with... I think they played with magic, but I don't care because I didn't like the story. It was so stupid. I hated it. May 3rd, 1862. My favorite color is pink. Egliette likes pink very much, too. When my eyes turn pink, I will play a dress up with Egliette, and we will only wear pink dresses. But I will have to cut my hair because it's too long and I like it shorter. Whose diary is this? Honey, I think it's... It's Fleta's. Technically yours. I'm getting the feel- I'm getting mad vibes. I'm getting mad vibes that this is 100% like... Cause ain't no imaginary friend... Having a family. I think this is 100% Gloria's family. Alright, where could that little brat be? It's not here. Here. Oh, there she is. Hold on, let me save. Because I'm not stupid. Ah, 
there you are. It took you long enough. I'm sorry. I'll show you how to look for someone. I'll go back to the playground. You stay and hide. And at least try a little harder. You're really bad at playing. I'm not that bad. Oh, is that so? <laughs> I'll give you a head start then, miss. I'll count to 30, so you have more time to hide. I wonder where... Uh, isn't that one place that Mira said that the mirror can help? Isn't that right? Really? Yes, really. I'll be going out and do your best, all right? <laughs> all right. Didn't that mirror say it would help? Would this be the case where I could use it? I don't know where the fuck else I could hide. Um. <laughs> can you help? I guess you can. Letter item obtained. Liebes brief. One of three. Dear Elise, or from Elise, vu like vo Elise. Is that a is that a is that a V O U or von von Elise? I'm writing you this letter on my deathbed in order to cleanse myself of my own demons. Okay. I don't have much time left. Nor do I have the right to bind you to my rules any longer. Unfortunately. My sins have now become your burden. Mother will not be able to accompany her little girl on her painful journey. Please. Do not doubt these feelings I harbor for you, my precious children. The rest of the letter is completely scratched out. Oh shit. Hi, you found me! What are you doing here? <gasps> Flutta! I I'm sorry, I just found this room. I asked you what you were doing here! You asked me to hide. I found a hiding spot. <laughs> Answer me! Nothing, I just... I just... You just what? I told you I want you to stay here with me, to be my friend and live in my home with me! But all you care about are those selfish lies! I hate lies, I hate lies, I hate lies, I hate lies, I hate lies! But Flutta, I'm not... You're coming with me, miss. The place where ill-behaved girls belong. What? I'm sorry? What? How did you drag my ass here? You're literally tinier than me. You've been a bad friend, miss. <laughs> Flutta, don't leave me here! Don't worry, I'll come visit you once in a while to see how you're doing. <laughs> Goodbye, miss. <laughs> Flutta, no! You little... Ah! I need to get out of here. Yeah, it's the letter from the play. Forgotten Attic. Okay, so that's the way out. Uh, okay. okay, stairs. Okay. Small doll aimlessly stares up at the ceiling, silently muttering to herself. Toy sit quietly, neatly lines up on those tall shelves. Broken nutcracker soldier leans against the wall. His eyes have been plucked out. I got a lantern! What's going on? You're finally here! <laughs> Uh, what? We've been expecting you, miss! You're finally here! She's as beautiful as I thought she would be! Of course she is! She's the chosen one! You're the chosen one! We need to get out of here! Yeah, no, I need to save, and we, we, we need to skedaddle! We need to scud fucking daddle! We need to go! We gotta go! That's a rat. Uh, that's a horse. An old rocking horse weakly stands on his broken hooves, forced to lean against the wall for support. I'm sorry. Uh, plushes. Countless dolls stare down at the quarter, their intense eyes following whoever dares glance at them. Terrifying. Alright. Um. You again. It's 
that doll again? I remember you. <laughs> and you're gone. What the hell? Where did it go? And you left something behind. Of course you did. What the hell? There was once a little witch who lived in the woods near town. She played all day long, casting spells and flying around. One day, at the break of dawn, five girls headed to the forest looking for berries. Oh, this is the berry story that, um, Egliette was talking about. Maybelle and Dorothy, sworn best friends, as two, as close as two peas in a pod. Both had received- I hate that squeaking. Both had received their blessings from God. The twins, Julietta and Isabella. Are they twins? Standing as the youngest, and yet said to be the strongest. Oh, they are twins. The one just kneeling down. Madeline was a town liar, who, despite her mother's many warnings, insisted on playing with fire. Eventually, they came across the little witch and beheld her wonderful magic. Mesmerized by the wonderful scenery, the girls asked the witch how she did it. And kind and nice as she was, the little witch gladly revealed her secret. It's all thanks to my magic wand. It's all thanks to my magic wand. With this, you won't have to learn any kind of magic, she told them, brandishing the tool in the air. We can share it if you want. Each of you can have it for a single day before handing it back to me. Overwhelmed with joy, the five girls celebrated with excitement. However, you must not allow greed to tempt your young hearts. For if my wand is not returned, I shall burn the thief at the stake. And so the little witch bid them farewell, leaving the girls to partake of her magic. Upon her return, the magic wand was nowhere to be found. Infuriated by the girl's betrayal, the witch promptly sought out the culprit. Oh. She ties each girl to a different stake, threatening to burn them all if they dared lie to her. Who dared steal my most precious belonging, the witch asked the girl, which, to which they replied. Madeline did it! Dorothy always tells the truth! Oh, great. We have a true... Okay. Great. I understand this puzzle. Alright, hold on. I need to really think about this. I kind of wish I had my trusty notebook and paper. So. Madeline did it. Dorothy always... So if Dorothy always tells the truth. I wish... I, okay, so I gotta remember. Dorothy tells the truth. Dorothy thinks Madeline did it. Julietta is a liar! Maybell stole the wand, screamed Dorothy. Julietta's a liar. Maybell stole the wand. Dorothy's innocent! Isabella would never lie! Pleaded Juliet. Julietta. Madeline may be a liar, but I know she didn't do it, exclaimed Isabella. You can trust Mabel. I'm sure it was Julietta who stole the wand, shouted Madeline. Okay. Whoever the culprit was, it said that she was mercilessly burned to death, pleading for forgiveness until her last, very last breath. What a horrible story. I hate that so much! <laughs> Who dared steal my most precious belonging? Okay. Um. Place isn't so bad, right? Eh, yeah, it's fucking terrible. Yeah, so. Okay. You c Okay, so they have references. Okay, cool. Um. You could trust Maybell. I'm sure it was Julietta who stole the one. So Madeline. Okay, I need. I need. Paper. I need a paper and a pen. I have pens right here. I need a paper. Um. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. So, uh, Madeline says, "Trust May blames Julietta." Okay. Isabella. Madeline may be a liar, but I knew she didn't do it. Trust Mad. Okay. okay hold on. Uh, Maybell. Madeline did it. Dorothy tells her so. Trust Dorothy. Then 
down was mad. Okay. Julieta is a liar. So wait, this is Dorothy. So. Maybell stole the one, so. So Julieta is a liar, so. Don't trust Julieta. Okay. Then Julieta says he's a uh, trust. He's a uh, down with Dorothy. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna move the screen away because that's that's a little. Unnerving. Okay. So. Madeline says... Trust May. Isabel says to trust Madeline. Hmm. I'm wondering if Madeline is lying, if Madeline is the liar here. So, don't trust Mag. Don't trust Dor. Wait, okay. How do we deal with this? Isa is the only one who hasn't literally blamed anyone. Yeah, Isabella has not blamed anyone. So, yeah, Madeline is blaming Julia, uh, Julia, uh, Julietta. Mabel is blaming Madeline. Dorothy is blaming Ma uh, Mabel. And Julieta is blaming Dorothy. Isabella is the only one who has not been blamed. Isabella literally only said just because Madeline is a liar doesn't mean she did it. She Isa believes Madeline didn't do it and still claims that Madeline may or may not be a liar. Everyone else literally is blaming someone. It's a blame game. But why would Isa not blame anyone? This is a little trickier than Liar's Room, yeah. So, let's go with Dorothy. Dorothy says, do not trust Juliana. If we don't trust Juliana, then don't trust Isa. And Dorothy is innocent. Because why would Dorothy not trust Juliana if Dorothy was claiming that she was innocent? Okay, so. Let's go with Dorothy. So Dorothy said, don't trust Juliana. So then we take everything Juliana says with a grain of salt. Juliana said, trust Isabella. So if we're not trusting Juliana, we do not trust Isabella. Because it also means that Dorothy is still safe. Now with Maybell, why down with Maybell to trust Dorothy? It would make sense for May Maybell to defend Dorothy if Dorothy said Maybell was the one who did it. So it's not Juliana, it's not Dorothy. It can't be Maybell. Maybell wants Madeline dead. And but May well, why would Madeline trust Ma uh, trust Maybell if Maybell was going to throw her under the bus? I think it's Isabel. I think it's Isabel. Especially if Madeline is the town liar. Don't trust Maybell. We're obviously not going to trust Maybell because Maybell's already trying to blame Madeline. I think it's Isabel. We'll go with Isabel. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to save, but we're going to go with Isabel. I'm going to go with Isabel. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to just yeah. Okay. I think, yeah, I think it's Isabel, because Isabel literally did not, did not claim anyone. Okay, so is there a way I can choose? Who dares to my most precious belong- I got matches. You must now fulfill your fate, miss. I'll tell all that. I was going to probably want to walk around and make sure I know what I'm doing. Because I'm noticing that there's walls. There's gonna be- this is gonna be a chase. So... 
Okay. 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 So, which one's Isabella? Is it this one? <sighs> Rest pepper and linguine. Rusty key. Is it this one? Locked. Can I use this key? It's so dark. Hello? Scissors? Scissors? Screw it. Rusty scissors. Maybe I can use this to get out of here. Oh, it's time to go. Or go in the hole? It's these notes again. You took my most precious belonging from me. It's only fitting I do the same. I wonder who could have written something like this. Why is there hair sticking out of the bottom of that mirror? There's hair coming out of this mirror. It's time to go. It is time to go. It is time to go. It is time to go. What was that? It's time to go. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. It's time to go. It is time to go. Um, I got scissors. I don't know what to. What do I do? I can't get out. Uh, what do you want to get out for? I thought you were staying with us. I'm not staying here. Please, miss, don't leave us. We need you, miss. What? No. You must. What? I have to leave this place. Uh, I'm saving first and foremost. All right, it's time to run. One, two, three, go. Go, go. Oh, it's time. It is time to go. Don't know where to go from here, but I'm. Oh. Uh, I, what did I grab this for? What did I grab this for? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, this way. Uh, scissors. Use. Why not? I don't know what the hell I did. What? Was that yellow hair Fleeta's hair? What is this place? Um... Their beloved garden. Whatever, I'm gonna save regardless. I think I survived, but I'm not sure what happened. Alright. There's a clock in the trees. I'm impressed. I wasn't expecting you to get this far. Mr. Pumpkin, where am I? Oh, I don't know, my girl. We could be anywhere. I There's something in that tree. You truly are special, miss. What do you mean, Mr. Pumpkin? Why did you ask the princess? I bet she's dying to see you. Okay. It's Fleta. This statue looks familiar somehow. I can't tell what it is. What happened to these statues? I... Okay, so if that's Fleta... Is this another girl? And is this another girl? Okay. That's me! That's... that's, uh, Gloria! Why is there a statue of me here? With a crown? This must be D.I.D. This is the original. So this is the, uh, I can't remember what they're called. The other three must be altars. This is the... original. 
Okay. So I'm assuming these two are other altars we have yet to meet. Okay. Okay. Hey! Buddy! Flutter! <laughs> Welcome back, miss! Flutter! I have to talk to you! Talk? About what? I need to know what's going on, and I know you- How did you get out of the attic? I- Tell me, miss. How did you escape? Flutter, listen to me. Please, just listen! <laughs> she ain't listening anymore, honey. Say, miss. Will you play one last game with me? Flutter, please! No more games! Oh! Oh, God. Um, what? Ma'am, you literally just broke reality. Let's play my favorite game, shall we? What? Musical chairs? Oh, oh my God! If you win, I will tell you everything I know. If you lose... You probably already know what will happen. You promise that you will tell me what's going on? Why, of course! Have I ever lied to you? You really want me to answer that honestly? Let's play now! Okay, so what's... Is it... Sit down in the nearest chair as soon as the music stops as quickly as you can by pressing Z. So this is musical chairs. High anxiety time! Alright, let's go, Michaela. Be careful not to be left out or you will lose. And you probably know what will happen if you do. Okay. <sighs> oh, Jesus! Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so nervous. I am like sweating. <sighs> Jesus. <sighs> Please. Come on! <sighs> oh! Blada, don't do this! reality oh hi my anxiety just <laughs> okay Whew. I'm sure this will be enough Fleta please tell me what's going on who said you won I'm the princess and princesses declares what happens in their kingdom Concern, I'm the one who won. Flutter, I'm serious. I need you to tell me what's going on. Ugh. Stop asking me that! Haven't I told you that you're staying here? No! I'm not staying here, Fleta. What was that now? I don't want to stay here. I already told you you're staying. Don't make me lose my temper, miss! But Fleta! I can't! And why can't you?! Because I need to find the answers you refuse to give me! I'm... I'm sorry. 
I didn't mean to yell, but I'm not feeling very well. I need to know who I am to understand why I'm here. I'd like to spend more time with you and Egalette, but... Egliette, but... It's not enough. It doesn't feel right to stay here when I don't even know you. What do you mean you don't know me? After all I've done for you! You don't have the right to say that to me! You Don't you dare belittle me! My name is Flutter! My name is Flutter! You wanted a friend to play with and I gave you one! You needed a place to play in and I gave you one! How is that not enough for someone like you? Please. This is an altar. 100% this is an altar for D.A.D. I'm not letting you go! You came to me first and I'm not letting you leave me again! I'm great for <laughs> grateful for having me as a friend. Is that it? How can you be so selfish? I deserve better than this! I waited for you. I made a place for us to be together. I'm not letting my kingdom go to waste. Fleta, I don't... That is... That is enough, Fleta. <laughs> Egliad. It's time we let it go. What are you talking about? Are you telling me to give up? Yes, I am. <laughs> it's time we end this farce, my girl. Egliette, what's the meaning of this? Are you on her side now? Is that it? Don't be stubborn, Flatta. You know there's no end to such a path. <sighs> Egliette, I'm not a liar. I'm the princess. Why are you doing this to me? I thought you were my friend. I am. And that is the reason why I will stay here with you. With or without our kingdom. Egliette! You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? You want me to lose to her! I want you to stop lying! That's enough, Fleta. Daydreaming will only take you so far. Egliette! Shut up! That is enough! <laughs> Shut up! Flutter. Why don't you understand? All I wanted was... to wait for you! I wanted to play with you again! I don't want to be alone anymore! I want to be with you! But, uh... Sorry, I actually started legitimately almost crying because of her. But you wouldn't understand! You said... You said you didn't even know me! But, uh... Please forgive me! I didn't mean to- You're going to leave me again! Are you? But I'm never going to forget about you again. I can promise you that. I want to be your friend, Fleta. I don't know what happened before. But I met you again. Didn't I? And we played together. Didn't we? Run with the uh, Canadian Five. So the main girl is six, stuck somewhere where she doesn't want and doesn't, that she doesn't want to get out. I think I get, kind of, it seems like this is a very much a mental trauma that she has to kind of cope with. I'm assuming this is either the joining or the breaking of altars. This is her confronting her altars and trying to figure out the trauma that has caused these altars to appear. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know what the trauma is, but it's it's very clear that these are altars confronting the original. 
and the original is now either going to join with or destroy the altars. So yeah. I had fun with you. Me too. Don't cry, Fleta. I'm sure we will meet again. Wait. What? Before you go, can you tuck me into bed and tell me a story? Of course. This must be like an altar she must have created when she was like six or seven. Very much a younger state of mind. Very much more selfish and much more of that mentality of believing in princesses and fairy tales. I'm sorry, Fleta. I don't know any stories. It doesn't matter anymore. You really have to go? I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm looking for. But I need to go find it. I'm going to be all alone again. Agliette will be with you, right? But I wanted to spend more time with you. Miss? Oh, honey. I'm happy I got to meet you in the end. My theory is she's in a coma confronting the trauma she experienced as a child. Perhaps, maybe. I wish we could play it for a little while more. But, uh... I want to give you this. What are you giving me? Oh! Letta's regalia. A regalia? Rosen Glockenshin. Uh, Rosen Glockshin. Is it a rose gold bell? A rose bell? Gold bell? It's my treasure. Please take good care of it. Are you sure I can keep this? Uh huh. It's for you. Oh, in that case. Oh, that's. Fuck, that is gonna hurt my heart. I want you to have this after all. <laughs> You're so silly. Thank you, miss. I promise. I will take good care of it, too. Let's play together some. Oh my god. I didn't think I was right. I didn't want to believe I was right. I did not believe I was right. This entire situation is going to be her breaking her altars. Oh my god. Oh my god. But, uh... I'm so sorry. <laughs> Gloria, it's okay. Gloria, you're okay. Fuck. Hey, where's that Gliette? Rabbit hole. A collection of mirror shards rest scattered on the bedsheets, each and every piece devoid of reflections. Elliot! Elliot! Thank you for all you've done, Miss. Elliot! These, perhaps, yours? Egliette's regalia. Okay. 
So the regalias are the pieces of information we need to figure out Gloria's name. Okay. No, miss. They now belong to you. Consider them a gift for me, if you will. I see. Thank you. Before you go, miss, I have something to tell you. Beware of what's yet to come, my girl. As I've told you before, everything is in your hands. Exactly yet. Although, it is a rather selfish request. But I ask you to keep these memories close to your heart. Of course. I will never forget about you and Fleta. I see. You have my gratitude, miss. Go on now. Follow your own path. For no one other than you can do so. Thank you, Egliette. And please, take care of Fleta for me. I will, miss. There's nothing for you to worry about. Your theory is ugly, it's a true villain. <laughs> Thank you for the Canadian too. Okay, hold on. Also, let's I wanna see this item. Rosen Glock Rosen Glockkin. Small golden bell decorated with the silky pink ribbons. There is a letter A engraved in, in the inside. So Yeah, it ends with an I A. I'm thinking it's Gloria. Her name is Gloria. There's a lot of religious texts that I've been seeing. Like one where there's a priestess holding um, a rosary. I'm thinking it's Gloria. You think Gloria and Excelsis Deo? Um, very much symbolistic of uh, a lot of... Does she have religious trauma? I'm wondering if she has a religious trauma. 